Now you should have assembled these pieces. This is, these are the router mounts with the support pieces. And it's gonna pretty much look like this when we're done with it. We're gonna attach now the sides and the rails. So you'll need these two pieces and you'll need the two rails. So the easiest way would be to lay it down like this. Get these pieces ready on the sides. And you'll also notice that there's that long area without the, the screw hole or the, um, the drill holes. Like this one also. And that, that area goes where the two uh, router mounts are going to be located. So let's go ahead and fasten that. We're going to be using, again, the one and a half inch screw and the cross dowels. We'll start by putting in the screws at the top and the cross dowels here. So insert the screw, get it almost at the edge of this hole. And you'll notice that the cross dowel will barely go in. As you slide it in, press on the screw and it should lock in. Or you can assemble it on its side like this so it'll be a little bit easier. Don't tighten them too tight until you've gotten all the screws in. You might need to position this part as you go. It should be flush to the bottom here. And also make sure that these notches are facing towards the, the router mount. So what I've done is I've just put in this screw. You will notice that the router mount will be able to shift like this until we get this screw in and all these uh, screws, including this one, which will hold the, um, the bottom plate and this one will hold the top plate. a little bit of space for this with this rail the one and a half inch screw will not work we'll have to use the two inch screw
finish the main part of the Z-axis um, assembly. We have the rails on, we have the router mount um, fastened, and now we're going to be putting on the two different plates um, on the top and bottom of this, this assembly. This plate is used um, to hold the motor, also the, the bearing, um, and, the, uh, and the lead screw. This part is for the vacuum hose. This is to, to put the end of the vacuum hose, and this is the router um, where the truck goes, and this is the end of the lead screw. So let's get started and um, fasten these two to the Z-axis assembly, and you'll see that there are four holes here. There are four holes in this location. You want to make sure that the bearing seat is facing towards the router mount and this bearing seat is facing also towards the router mount. You can use the one and a half inch screws for this with the cross balance. 